Hey guys, you're watching Reptile Rescue Pangan. Today I'm in the forest of uh, Bad Khao Tam. It's uh, very close to the main road at the Bantai Pier. I caught it in a bathroom. I had to remove a smart board first. It was resting in a small aluminium profile. Today I'm gonna release it here in the forest. You can see it here in the background. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, human disturbed dry evergreen forest. You can see they have trimmed the bushes. But it's uh, anyway still quite wild, at least here behind me. Here we have a small stream bed. It's dry in the moment but the weather forecast predicted some rain for the next two days and I wanted to release it before. So yeah, I'm just gonna release it right here. So and uh, you hang on. And here we are. I've just uh, the usual setup. It's a sterile box with some uh, paper, a substrate and a flower pot as shelter. So I will lift up the flower pot now and then you will see already it's a very cute one. Ta -da! Oh you made a little poop. Okay. Let's see if we can do it without hooding. Oh yeah. Oh. It's definitely the wrong direction. Well, okay. This is the direction we want. Actually, we rescued a 200 meter down the hill. Yeah, now it's gone. So after all, it went uh, in this direction, which is very good because um, the house where I rescued it was in this direction. I told you approximately 200 meter. So I guess it will find its beaten trails. I think in this age it's anyway not that crucial to release them too close to the side because they have anyway still to claim their territory. So the home range will anyway expand after a while. But anyway, I try always to release them as close as possible to the rescue site. Okay, we are done here. I head back to the car and we'll see us to the next episode of Reptile Rescue Pangan. Bye bye.